So today we're going to talk about garlic. When we looked at garlic, you know, people have been using this for thousands of years, uh, 5,000 years, you know, garlic dates back to nearly 2700 BC in ancient China, Samaria, India, and Egypt. And the medicinal effects of garlic are attributed to the organic sulfur compounds. Garlic is about 105 chemical compounds and includes minerals, it includes vitamins, it includes what are called saponins, as well as phenolic compounds. And it also includes some volatile compounds known as organosulfur compounds. Now the minerals in garlic include things like manganese, zinc, selenium, germanium, and the vitamins are A, C, B1, B2, B3, and B6. And it also contains some very powerful flavonoids, rutin, quercetin, and naringin. And then the saponin, it contains are erubicide B and beta chlorogenin. And then when it comes to the volatile compounds, these are the things that really give garlic its power. We call organosulfur compounds. There's about 33 of these organosulfur compounds, and they constitute about 2 to 3% of fresh garlic. You can see the chemical structures here. There's two classes. One class is known as L-cysteine sulfoxides, and the other one is gamma glutamyl L-cysteine peptides. Now, what's really interesting is, if you know in traditional cultures, people always take the garlic, you know, and they'll smash it or they'll grind it. Now, the important reason for this is allein, which is what you see up on the left here, but that's the major organosulfur compound in garlic. But when you chop it, you crush it, or you chew it, that mechanical action converts it into this very powerful and usable form allicin, which has the medicinal benefits. Garlic activates your immune system. Okay, in multiple ways, you're innate, you're adaptive. It also inhibits those inflammatory enzymes like BRK1 slash 2 to really reduce the cytokine storm. So you're really supporting your immune system, you're strengthening it, right? So you don't overreact. Garlic also mitigates allergic reactions. And then finally, garlic has many other effects on other related subsystems, gastric ulceration, cardiovascular disease, metabolic diseases, and cancer.